this place is one of the most popular wine destinations in the world. It's known for some of the biggest, boldest red wines out there. But this is a white wine in my glass, and it's proof that change is a coming. Do you know what this wine is? Everything you need to know is in the glass. You just need to know how to read it. So the first thing we'll do is look at the color. This looks to be a pale gold color, which suggests oxygen exposure during the winemaking process, probably from barrel fermentation or barrel aging. Let's give it a sniff. I get honeydew melon, ripe yellow apple, and a savory herbal note of tarragon and guava. There's also a whiff of smoke. The myriad of fruit flavors is a quandary. It doesn't point to one particular variety. Therefore, it must be a blend. Another clue is that whiff of smoke. White wines aged and fermented in oak barrels often are known to have a whiff of smoke or gunflint in the flavor profile. There is a lot going on. A hit of acid leads to a whiter waxy mid palate, but then it finishes herbal and dry. The primary fruit flavors are apple and green melon. There's not a lot of citrus and not a lot of perfume. So this blend is actually a blend of three different grape varieties, two of which are from Italy. Do you think you can name them? Is it a blend of Pinot Grigio, Garganega, and Chardonnay? Greco, Verdicchio, and Sauvignon Blanc? Ribola Gialla, Friolano, and Chardonnay, or Gewürztraminer, Caterato, and Sauvignon Blanc. This one's a bit tricky, so I say we call Master of Wine, Christine Marsilio, in for the rescue. Okay, so we have a wine that has perhaps been fermented and aged in old and large oak barrels because we have a really savory edge, but we also have a mix of zesty acidity and a somewhat floral aromatic profile. This is pretty tricky. That structure and affinity to oak points us towards Chardonnay. However, that slightly floral note points to the use of Ribola Gialla, and the waxiness could be coming from Friolano, aka Sauvignon Vert. Friolano was once known as Tokai Friolano, and Ribola Gialla are both from Northeast Italy, but today we see them more specifically in Friuli. Friuli is nestled between the shores of the Adriatic and the Julian Alps, and it's one of Italy's most picturesque regions, and it produces some of Italy's finest white wines. But our wine today is not from Italy, so where in the world could someone be experimenting with these Italian grapes? We need a place that has both the sea and the mountain influences and a Mediterranean climate. Somewhere where Italian culture thrives thanks to the emigres bringing their grapes and culture with them. Where do you think the wine is from? Stellenbosch, South Africa? California in the US? Burgundy in France? Or Marlborough, New Zealand? That's right, California, specifically Napa Valley. The Mediterranean climate found in Napa Valley is not dissimilar to that found in Friuli. Let's jump back to Madeline to learn more about this specific wine and what to have with it. Okay, the big reveal. This is Anya by Massacan. It's a blend of 51% Friulano, aka Sauvignon Vert, 33% Ribola Gialla, and 16% Chardonnay. The project is definitely a unique proposition in Napa. More than 80% of the vineyards here are red grapes and mostly Cabernet Sauvignon. Still, what would you rather have on one of those 90 degree Napa Valley harvest days? This looks pretty ideal to me. If you like this segment, leave me or Christine a comment and let us know. This wine is part of Wine Folly Club, where you can learn by tasting. Find out more at winefolly.com. In the meantime, subscribe for more bit tasting videos like this one. And until next time, happy tasting. Salut.